Hello everyone and welcome to my Friday Reads video. I hope you are all doing really, really good. So obviously I'm just going to let you guys know about the books that I hope to be reading this coming weekend. So I'm going to start with the book that I am currently reading and that is Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. This is a new release this month and I absolutely adored Jennifer Niven's last YA book, All the Bright Places. And um, I've started reading this, I'm just over 100 pages into it and I love it so far. Um, um, it's so beautiful, it is full of supernatural references which I really really appreciate and love. Um, I know Jennifer Niven is a huge Sam Winchester fangirl as well so obviously I relate to her on that level. Um, this is told in the dual perspectives of Libby and Jack. Libby used to be America's fastest teenager and now she has lost a lot of weight. She is basically reinstating herself back into um, high school because of her um, extreme um, weight gain. She was um, housebound and she had to pull out of school and basically shut herself off from the world and now that she is kind of getting back into the real world um, that seems to be a really lovely story to be following. And then you have Jack who has a condition where he finds it difficult to um, remember faces, even those of his friends and family. He finds it very difficult to um, put names to faces even though they're faces he sees all the time. Um, so their stories are about to be intertwined they have met now and I'm really really excited to see where this takes me I'm really really loving it it's so beautiful I just I love it um, I will actually write a review of it because I think that um, it might be the sort of book that a lot of you might want to read as well and then after I have finished that, I'm hoping to finish Holding Up the Universe possibly by the end of today or maybe early tomorrow, I am going to be picking up They All Fall Down by Roxanne Sinclair. Um, I know I mentioned this in my TBR video. This is about a um, situation where I think it's the 10... Um, most beautiful girls in a year at high school have all been written down on a list and then someone is going around um, basically killing them all off and I think the main character of this is um, supposedly going to be the next one on the list to be killed and obviously she has to um, piece together exactly what is happening before that killer gets to her. So um, it sounds like my sort of thing, um, obviously appropriate for um, October, Halloween is very fast approaching. So um, yeah, I've had this book for quite a long time, it was on my wish list for a long time before I eventually picked it up as well, so it's been on my radar for quite a long time now, so I'm really excited to be finally getting to it, and I will of course let you guys know what I think of it in my wrap up, so yeah. I will also be picking up this weekend Heart of the Dragon Supernatural Fan Fiction by Keith R. A. D. Candido. Um, I know I've mentioned supernatural books on this channel before, they are just um, little fan fiction. So um, when I'm out and about this weekend, I will be just putting this um, handy little mass market paperback into my bag and just, um, you know, getting it out whenever I get a spare um, opportunity. I don't actually know exactly what this one's about, so I'm going to read the back for you. Um, when renegade angel Castiel alerts Sam and Dean to a series of particularly brutal killings in San Francisco's Chinatown, they realise the heart of the dragon is back. John Winchester faced a terrifying spirit 20 years ago and the Campbell family fought it 40 years ago. Can the boys succeed where their parents and grandparents failed? So they're revisiting a monster who has um, apparently been resurrected. So um, I love stories like that because they tend to have a nice kind of family theme and obviously I love the Winchesters. So um, yeah, I'm hoping this is going to be a pretty good one. So yeah. And then the last two books that I hope to maybe dip into this weekend, and they are really quick reads, so I'm hoping to get at least one of them out of the way, and that is The Reptile Room and The Wide Window. These are books two and three in the A Series of Unfortunate Events series by Lemony Snicket. Um, I did read the first one very recently, so I'm hoping to continue with this series this weekend. Um, these are just kind of quirky, dark, um, middle grade books that are perfect for October and Halloween I think so um, yeah I'm excited to see um, what is going on in these two and that is it for my Friday Reads video. What books are you going to be reading this weekend? Please let me know. I would love to know. I will leave all my social media in the description down below. I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye bye.